by Calor Graphics, Trail Tech, and Public Land Riders. Let's go shred some tires. What is up, ladies and gents? We are out here with the boys. We got uh, Jordan and Jarrett, and then Aaron and I can't remember his other buddy's names, but a couple dads. And today we are out riding at the Tansky OHV Off-Road Motorcycle Park uh, out here in BC. We're back home finally on our own bike here. I don't remember any of the trail here, so. We are just doing our best to keep up with Jordan and Jarrett. They've been in here racing a few times recently, so they're quite accustomed to the trails in here. Try and take it a little easier off the rips. So we don't just kill ourselves. This place will have you cramping in a hurry. Good old kickstart Jarrett. Now for today, we're gonna to be heading over to the Wolf's Ridge, which is the hardest trail they have here at the off-road park. It's a double black diamond, lots of ledges and drops, and uh, we're gonna put our bike through an absolute ringer today, and she's gonna take the most amount of damage this bike has uh, ever seen or received yet. We're back out in a riding park. I have not been into uh, in a long time, really long time. This riding park is all about tight and technical riding. Lots of routes, lots of dig outs and trees to avoid and just lots of hard technical obstacles. This place is not about flow and uh, just cruising through the woods. This is just full of roots and ruts and lots of stuff as uh, the racers have gone through here and tore up the ground pretty gosh darn good up in here. So you get a lot of obstacles. Yeah, I'm feeling quite rusty today, that's for sure. At this point, I'm already starting to cramp up here and having a hard time hanging onto the bike, which is not a good sign for what's to come. Try and loosen up that grip here. Cause I am way too tight. Then we come in a little bit too hot here. Oh, clip that tree a little bit there. Oh, I had my first good tumble too. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, over the bars. Nice. <laughs> oh. oh, I need to relax the hand. Now these are the kinds of obstacles here that you can really notice the difference coming from that uh, BBR KLX 170 that I had built. Just how much better this cross trainer can actually handle the trails. This is where I really love just how well this thing can just lug up hills. Oh, I got the worst hand cramps ever. I was having a lot of issue here with just being able to control the bike and the throttle because my hand was just, I couldn't, I couldn't let go of the grip on the handlebar. And I've been having this issue and I want to work on it and definitely get better and progress with my, my hand control because I just, I got these death grips going on way too early. of things are going to start to increase over time here and as further we go the harder it's going to get now we got a bit of a nasty little ledge hop up here then down a couple tight twisties 
Oh uh, yes, this is the bee nest. Huh? The bee nest. Yeah. There used to be a bee nest in the log there that we rode over a long time ago and uh, we were spitting bees out on the, when we were doing a burnout on the log there. Close try there. Oh, I won't be a hero. Same thing. Drop off. <laughs> that was a little spicy. Okay, we got got rid of some of that forearm pump. And we got a good saucy hill climb here. Oh, he's coming back down. All right. Now let's see what we can make of the hill climb. First section, on to the next one. So I haven't been out riding with these groups of boys in a long time. I'm trying to figure out how I can relax my grip a little bit more here. Cause it is tight. Another hill climb. Then into a bit of chunk. a breather here. Try and take this to relax my forearm a bit. Not sure how much relaxing we're going to get on that, but yeah, not a lot of talking today. A lot of concentration. down oh and he's down too A big pointy one. Hit the tree a little bit with the handlebar, caught the rest of it with the peg. Nice. Into the tree we go. That was not the line. squirrely on that tree hop. Oh, this is some good much needed breakup. Some flow. Oh yes, this is, oh, that's what I needed. A little bit of airflow too, get the, dry up some of that sweat. Much needed. 
before we get right back into the stuff. Oh, Wolf's Ridge, all right. All right, so we're into the double, double orange. Now we're into the beginning of all the super techie feature type rocks and ledges and roots and all the fun, good, hard, tough stuff. All right, into the shit. Yeah, it's looking hairy up there. Just gotta pick your way off as you go. That wasn't too shabby. Recall this. I remember I think we came through this in the snow one time. Yeah, this trail's a doozy. I recall this one's the. Most difficult trail in the park. This is definitely our first time taking something that's grueling and just pure gnarly on the uh, the beta cross here. Everything we've been so far has been more hill climb type stuff. We just need some more speed. This is just pure, pure techie stuff. And I am most definitely excited to get back into some more of the uh, hard enduro stuff here that we got locally back at home that we just haven't got to ride in quite a while. Got Jared doing some fancy maneuvering work. Remember the trail, but I don't remember what's in the trail. Sounds like a doozy. <laughs> Lost his foot in a bit there. All right, it looks like we're about to get into the climb here. Uh, and he's off in the sides. Oh, you don't want to go that way. And the worst thing that could happen to you on a hill climb is happened to me. We're at a dead stop here, so I'm like, huh. What's another way I can take? Cause I got I lost all my momentum now. No, you wanna. Keep in mind, we are on stock street legal daughter proof tires, and I'm still pretty impressed with the traction that these tires provide. Well, nice meeting you guys. We'll see you next time. So now we're gonna get into the most difficult section of the Wolf's Ridge Trail. Those guys are gonna go ahead and they'll meet us down in the parking lot. And down we go. Oh, it's tight in here. For those of you that are wondering, the stock tires are some Shinko 216s and a 140, 80, 18 in the rear. Where are we going? Okay, we're going. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the older dads just dipped out. They're feeling a little tired already, which is fair enough. They look like they're in their 40s or 50s. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired at this point too, but. But we're gonna complete this Wolf's Ridge Trail. Also gonna follow it up by damaging the hell and bending some stuff on the X trainer. Which seems like it's gonna be a doozy. It will be. Oh this one looks like it'd be good fun coming up. this absolutely just beautiful viewpoint here. Oh, this is a beauty little view. Uh, hey. Oh yeah, this is a good spot for a little photo. Epic little view spot here on the top of Wolf's Ridge. Now we're gonna head down from that beautiful little spot there and we're gonna get into some more techie fun stuff. But first we got this pretty steep little descent before we get to climb back up. little techie spots in here. Now this little spot right here is just super tight and awkward with the tree and the nugget there and you're trying to climb up a rock on the rear wheel at the same time. But uh, this is the type of challenge I enjoy. And up and onwards, all right. Yes! Just barely did the cowboy ride up on that one, just hanging on. Obstacle. Got perfectly wedged in that tree. saucy there. Then we're finally out of those pecker poles and we're going to be heading back into a little bit more greenery here. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah, dude. That was sweet, man. Hell yeah. Jesus. Now, I didn't even notice really till the end of the ride, but uh, you'll see that we uh, broke some plastics, bent a rad, bent a rad guard, poked a hole through our seat in two different spots. Mike went through a lot of tough stuff this ride. Jeez. Alright. See what happened there? That thing absolutely just about ripped the bars out of my hands. Oh man, that sun. That's so bad. Oh. Oh. Yeah. features and stuff that's trying to trip you up. You really gotta think about how you're riding, where you're maneuvering and putting the throttle down, where you're hitting the brakes, where you're popping the clutch and where you put your feet. Slight hesitation there screwed me up. Oh. God. Now Jordan and Jerry are definitely an advantage you're having ridden here the last couple weekends. Oh. Yeah, once again, same issue, just not enough commitment there. And I know at this moment in time, my hands are just totally binding up. Just no control, really. Starting to get uh, a little bit lazy, a little bit out of control here, and uh, yeah, just not able to hold the throttle and clutch. Having a little bit of a struggle fest here. This stupid freaking branch it just wants to keep poking you right in the groin there in the leg. 
So I'm like, ah, screw it. Just gotta get move this thing out of the freaking way. And it's like stupid log. Now these trails here are just like absolutely super duper tight, right? Knuckle to knuckle on the trees here. Yeah, I got no, uh, no clutch dexterity left. Where are we going? Yeah, this place definitely has some technical tough riding. trying to make sure I don't lose these boys I mean just keep a pace rolling in behind them just uh, makes it easier too when you're following someone at their pace you like, okay I can tell when they're hitting the mumbo jumbo getting on that gas or not but obviously it makes a huge difference if you know what's uh, coming around each corner when you've ridden this place a bunch especially when they've ridden it recently whereas I haven't been in here in a few years so I'm still trying to relearn where we're going and what turn and what to expect for uh, traction and obstacles coming ahead. I'm also feeling absolutely gassed at this point. It's a little boggy there. finally get back into a little area that's got a little bit more flow we can pick up the pace a little bit relax a little bit hang out have some fun let the throttle hang out and you know have a good time There's a tree there. <laughs> you see that? And then I punched a big old hole right in the side of my seat. Didn't even notice, hopped on and kept going. But uh, yeah, saw that one when I got home. I was like, oh, no way. And then turns out I also broke my plastic, bent my rad guard and uh, tweaked a little bit of the corner of the radiator by, oh, well, so away she goes. <laughs> Lots of crash in a day. Well, Wolf's Ridge was a blast. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you're down below. Click that like button, click subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.